do um, is probably going to have an interview pretty soon with uh, the team leaders um, from JCP. So what we have Stan moving over in our direction, and if you'll give us just a second, let's see what we're going to have. Probably have an interview from this uh, winning winning roster JCP. Give us one second. Yeah, as you can see, uh, everyone got up after that match was over. Oh. <laughs> They're all talking over there in the corner, uh, saying uh, good games, it looks like. We got D-Traff and some other JCP members, Ruin. They're all excited. And, uh, it's going to be some good stuff here, guys. We're going to get them over here as soon as possible to talk about it. Uh, so now it looks like we're going to have Chris from uh, Half and Half, yeah, and a little bit of Stan from JCP, if you guys want to come over here. Uh, we don't have video set up over here yet, but... Uh, you give us a few seconds. So after a very exciting ICAM match, um, we we basically are going to have an interview here with Chris from uh, Mug and Mouse uh, here at the land. It's half and half. Uh, he definitely uh, was the MVP for his team. Uh, his his game is not over yet. Um, I'm sure that he has every intention on uh, you know meeting up with JCP again in the finals because we are running a double elimination uh, tournament. Uh, so as we wait for Stan to come on over, we'll go on and have a, have a word with Chris. Chris, how uh, what did you think about the uh, performance from your team? You know, I think we did our I think we did all right. Seeing as you know, we're just a team half and half, two players from two teams. So you know, we're trying to mesh together as best we can. You know. Pull together some last-minute stuff, whatever. You know. Yeah, I mean, from our point of view, we saw some some really great play from from both sides of the halves of your team. I mean, you know, you and Metalus and uh, you know G and Brain Damage both y'all worked w really well together. You know, I mean, maybe you can you know grab those guys from Conviction for your roster. I don't know, but uh, you know, anything can happen at the land. Yeah. Uh, but what did you think about the differences in between, like, you, you guys' style of defense versus JCP's style of defense? Because from what we were seeing, it was like night and day. But they were both very effective because the score was so close. But what, what would you say the main differences were? I think we were a bit, we were a bit more pushy, you know. Like, we, we would get picked a couple times. Like, uh, that one round where you saw me and Metal both got taken out by 1, 2, or 3, that was, you know, miscommunication. I didn't know he was, like, on the roof with me. Just stupid mistakes. That's really it. Yeah, that's pretty much what America's Army boils down to. <laughs> it's who makes the mistake first. Um, so, with that being said, I mean, uh, you guys are definitely still in it. I mean, this is not the end of the road for y'all. Um, you've come uh, quite a long way, beat quite a few teams, including um, us. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you guys uh, in another uh, shoutcast or video cast soon. And we appreciate you coming over and talking to us. Next up, we're going to have Stan from JCP. Uh, Stan really can't ever get enough camera time, so uh, we want to give him a little bit more. Um, actually, we've... So we've got the Sexy Beast D-Traff and the Overweight Banana Gun. And, uh, <laughs> and we, I guess we got the whole team here. Get right over here. we got Ruin right here, too. So this is your first place team right now in the land. Uh, no, no real surprise to any of us here. I mean, they are hosting it, so therefore they've got to win it. And um, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of practice. I'm sure in rigging that they've been doing over the last few months. But anyway, so back to the match. From our point of view here on the monitor, I mean, we saw a very, very aggressive defense, which was, in my opinion, much different. What do you think, Hunter? It was probably it was quite a bit different than uh, you know than than mug and mouse or half and half, whatever you might call it. Always your usual aggressive push. You uh, always like to go to the windows, try to get that first pick, take the guys the two or three in the AR off, because you know they like spam. You had Ruin going around to the back of South trying to get those guys on the side of the hill. But then you saw that half and half when they did the passive thing, they knew you guys would had the windows covered pretty well. Yeah. So they stayed in, wait for you guys to waste your names or smokes. How do you guys think that uh, the differences proved to be in your favor? Oh, um, definitely defense is uh, aggressive is our nature. That's kind of how we play. We've, we've always been really aggressive, not too passive. 
but uh, at the same time, every time we're aggressive, we always are ready to fall back at any time. I mean, you know, you saw us being aggressive, but hardly ever were we just straight out in the open. Um, it was good times. Uh, they definitely did a really good job of pushing us to the limit. I really didn't expect them to take as many rounds on um, assault as they did. I mean, what did you guys think as far as on the What's the question? Uh, what do you think of the difference in the difference? Playing solid defense? Yeah, they were aggressive. You just need to mix it up a little bit, not do the same thing over and over again. Yeah, we all tried different spots almost every round. I don't think anybody went to the same spot. I went to West one round. <laughs> Well, one thing that I noticed about you y'all's game on um, on uh, salt, uh, were you were you getting a little nervous because I noticed that Ruin was taking the saw most of the rounds, and then all of a sudden we see Banana with the saw in one of the last rounds. So what what instigated that switch? Um, well, uh, he did want it, but at the same time, um, the reason for that is we just come off a, a, a victory against Overrated with the assault rifle uh, when uh, when Banana had the M4, and the only difference in position was uh, Eric. We had James instead, I mean, Raph. So, I mean, basically we just swapped that. But at the end, Kevin said, hey, give it to me. And I thought it was a great idea because it does give a different look from the, our sold approach. We were trying to draw him out a whole lot. Like, as you, I'm sure you saw me run up to the building, open the door. I was just trying to draw him out. And uh, it worked a couple times. So sometimes I just got really hurt. Well, we've had a blast uh, trying to do what we call a cast. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't the, the most professional, as sometimes I lose my train of thought. But me and Hunter and Warpane were over here calling the action like we saw it. So, well, you guys are looking real good right now to take home whatever the grand prize is here at the LAN. Um, you're the only team here that has zero losses, so you will be in the finals at some point. Um, I guess you have buys until that point. Is that? Yeah, that's what Looks like Ru Ruin's ready to go have some dinner. <laughs> so, uh, but we're we're gonna go ahead and wrap this. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and uh, see if we can not get some more of these uh, these uh, the this lower tier matches out of the way. And I'm sure we'll be back to cast some more here shortly. Uh, how late is are we going tonight? So we're going until at least 12. Okay, well we're get, we're wrapping it up. So uh, for everybody who tuned in, we appreciate it, and uh, we will see you shortly. Stay tuned to erev.tv for more live coverage here at the Chicago Land and AA a Chicago Land. Erev applied directly to the forehead. Erev applied directly to the forehead. Erev is not responsible for any monitor to head related injuries. Future own risk.